Walt, please. Let's both of us stop trying to justify this whole thing and admit you're in danger. Who are you talking to right now? Who is it you think you see? Do you know how much I make a year? I mean, even if I told you, you wouldn't believe it. Do you know what would happen if I suddenly decided to stop going into work? A business big enough that it could be listed on the NASDAQ goes belly up. Disappears. It ceases to exist without me. No, you clearly don't know who you're talking to, so let me clue you in. I am not in danger, Skyler. I am the danger. A guy opens his door and gets shot, and you think that of me? No. I am the one who knocks. One to others as you would have a turn. Come back here and repeat until you learn, learn, learn. Oh, every drop. Time to run through the veins. Always make its way back in the heart again. And every doubt that lives his life in a chain. Knows what it's like. Waiting for nothing. And by the way, you look fantastic in your boots of Chinese plastic. Yes, hello. I need a cab. Yes, thank you. The name is White. Uh, I'm at the pavilion parking lot on University. Oh, yes, that's right, just south of the airport. Oh, that'd be great, thank you. Oh, how long do you think that would take? <laughs> No, I'm sure he'll see me. Thank you. Are you telling me you make $7,125,000 a year? Seven and a half, even, before expenses. But I can't, th th that, this is too much. So it's more than you thought, and this is somehow Bad news. No, that's that's not the point. I mean, there is no car wash in the world that could do this kind of business. I mean, this is nine months' work here minimum. Seven million? That, that could take years. So set some aside. Save it for a rainy day. Save it. Where? Save it where? I can't go to the bank with it. I sure can't leave it here. Oy. Wait a minute. Is this all 50s? Who pays for a car wash with a 50? Skylar, I didn't ask you to do this. I was under the impression that you had this under control. I just didn't expect this amount of money. The 50s are going to be a problem. Well, that's what this is, problem solving. Skylar, this is a simple division of labor. I bring in the money, you launder the money. This is what you wanted. I never wanted any of this. I've got to go. If you want out, just say that you want out. Okay, then. You're telling me you made this in the lab? Why not? Making it in his own lab seemed appropriate. There's not much of it. We had more for Tuco. It's enough. This is still the best way. You go after him with a gun, you'll never get out of it alive. But with this, you slip it into his food or drink. There shouldn't be any taste or smell. 36 hours later, poof. A 
man his age, working as hard as he does, no one will be surprised. What about Mike? Mike can have his suspicions, but that's all they'll be. Please, one homicidal maniac at a time. I don't even know when I'm gonna see Gus again. I mean, if ever. Keep it with you. When you have the opportunity, be ready. What if they search me? Will they do that? Wrong way around. It's my lucky cigarette. Well, whatever you do, don't smoke it. I mean, I, I stay up nights staring at the ceiling trying to make sense of it. That napkin. Remember, I told you Bedecker's vegan, right? I mean, we're talking. This guy makes his own fermented lentil bread, or whatever the hell that is. What's a vegan? Doing it in a fried chicken joint. Maybe he's meeting somebody. I'm like, who? Well, like maybe. This guy. I mean, what do we know about Gustavo Fring, huh? This whole friend of law enforcement thing? Could be a case of keep your friends close, but your enemies closer. I mean, he's got the money to finance this operation. Maybe he's got the connections, too. Maybe, just maybe, he's our guy. Hey, no offense, but I think you're really reaching. If your guy had his meeting at KFC, you wouldn't immediately assume that he's sitting down with Colonel Sanders. You know, I, <clears throat> I couldn't agree more, guys. Gustavo Frank, Blue Math, you know. Whole thing is off the map nuts. I had to be wearing a tinfoil hat, you know? <laughs> Sep, I can't seem to wrap my mind around this one little thing. And that is, what are Gustavo Frank's fingerprints doing in Gil Bedecker's apartment? 